Hello, this is Donna Villa of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Pope Francis met with the board of directors of the Knights of Columbus on Monday, February 10th, at the Vatican. The Holy Father said that since its foundation, the Knights of Columbus has demonstrated its unwavering devotion to the successor of Peter. Pope Francis entrusted the organization to the loving intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Pope Francis offered his prayers for the members of the Knights of Columbus and their families and for all the good works accomplished by the local councils worldwide. Thousands of Nigerians on Monday bid a tearful farewell to Catholic seminarian Michael Nadi, who was murdered recently. Many priests were seen to be in tears at the funeral. During his homily at the funeral, Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Bishop of Sokoto, said that the persecution of Christians in northern Nigeria is as old as the modern Nigerian state. He told the faithful to become more robust in presenting the values of Christianity, especially the message of love and nonviolence, to a violent society. Bishop Thomas Paprocki of Springfield, Illinois, has issued a pastoral guide to deal with people suffering from gender dysphoria. The guide emphasizes on certain policies that need to be followed by schools, parishes, families, and parents while dealing with people with gender dysphoria. He said that a person cannot change his or her gender and should accept and seek to live in conformity with his or her sexual identity as determined at birth. Bishop Oprocki said that people who suffer from gender identity issues should be treated with utmost gentleness, sensitivity, and with compassion. He urged pastors and administrators to solicit help when questions or situations arise regarding the new policy. Christian leaders in Iraq have expressed concern over the future of Christianity in the country. Christian families in Iraq are forced to flee to safer places because of the continuous persecution at the hands of the Islamic extremist group ISIS and lack of safety measures provided by the government there. Loya Mikhail, head of the foreign relations for the Chaldean Syriac Assyrian Popular Council, said that the Christian population in the country has seen a decline from 1.5 million to about 250,000. Father Nadir Dako, the parish priest of St. Joseph Parish in Baghdad, told The Telegraph that their country has become a land of militias. He said that the quality of education in Baghdad has gone down in nearly all the primary schools. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, will visit Malta on May 31, 2020. The Holy See Press Office announced the news on Monday. They showed us unusual kindness is the theme of the papal visit. Pope Francis' visit will be the fourth papal visit to the island nation. Pope John Paul II visited Malta twice in 1999 and 2001. Pope Benedict also visited Malta. Malta is predominantly a Catholic country. Thank you for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.